Yan Ruiz Zhou Yulao, Imperial Women, actually battle for one thing: become the Empress Dowager. Qianlong's sons also compete with each other for the only tickets for the throne. In this video, let's see why Qianlong's fifteenth son won the game. In ancient China, princes had no chance to inherit the throne. If the emperor died without son, but had surviving daughters, the new emperor will be chosen in close Yuyu clan. So the princess doesn't have chance to show up in this video. Qianlong became the emperor in seventeen thirty five. This year, he had three sons. The second son, Yonglian, was chosen as the crown prince. You may hear that Qianlong made this decision because he loved Yonglian's biological mother, the Empress Xiaoxian. I don't agree. In my opinion, Yonglian was chosen by the Emperor Yongzheng, and. The traditional inheritance rules. In ancient Chinese traditional inheritance rules, Di Zi, who was born by wife, had absolute priority in inheriting the throne. If the empress didn't have son, the oldest Shu Zi, who was born by concubine, had priority. In Qing Dynasty, Di Zi still had priority, but Shu Zi must compete with each other. Age couldn't give any help to Shu Zi. Yonglian was born in 1730 by Qianlong's wife. He was Di Zi, so when he was born. Both Yongzheng and Qianlong were extremely happy. Besides, Yongzheng already secretly chose Qianlong as the crown prince, so Yongzheng personally gave this grandson a name, Yonglian. The character Lian means inheritance the power, so this echo publicly announced. Yonglian was chosen as heir. When Qianlong became the emperor, Yonglian was secretly chosen as the crown prince, just like what Yongzheng did. Unfortunately, in 1738, Yonglian passed away at eight years old. He was posthumously promoted to the crown prince. Now, before next deeds appeared, all boys had chance to inherit the throne. In following years, Qianlong's imperial women gave birth three boys. By 1746, Qianlong had five sons. Three of them were under ten years old. In May 1746. Xiao Xian gave birth her second son, who was Di Zi. Qianlong gave this boy a name, Yong Cong. Cong was a special jade used in formal worship. Giving this character to a boy as name is equal to announce this boy is considered as heir. Unfortunately, Yong Cong. Only lived about two years. In beginning 1748, Yongcong died. Three months later, the Empress Xiaoxian passed away. In Xiaoxian's funeral, Yonghuang and Yongzhang didn't express deep sadness as ex expected. Qianlong publicly removed them. From his list of potential crown princes, in Qing Dynasty, Empress kids 
even didn't have many chance to see their biological mother. How much sad they could feel for a lady who wasn't their biological mother, and they might only a few times. But Empress Xiaoxian passed away. Only four princes still have chance to inherit the throne. In July 1748, noble consort Jia gave birth to Qianlong's ninth son, but this boy lived for several several months. In 1750, Yonghuang passed away. Same year, the imperial noble consort Xian officially became the empress, although. She didn't have son yet, but once she gave birth a boy, that boy, as Di Zi, had priority in inheriting the throne. Although in March 1752, noble consort Jia gave birth a boy, but the real game changer was born several years, several months later. In June 1752, the steppe empress gave birth a boy, who was Qianlong's third, Di Zi. Qianlong gave this boy a name, Yong Qi. Qi is a jade used on empress imperial crown. This character indicated Yong Qi's status was high, but didn't. Clearly implied, he was considered as the crown prince. I guess this because Qianlong already paid attention on his fifth son Yong Qi. Qianlong's fifth son Yong Qi was a talented person and worked hard, although his mother wasn't favored by Qianlong very much. But he still gradually attracted his father's attention through his capabilities. In beginning 1756, the steppe empress gave birth another boy, but this boy only lived for about two years. No effect on strong competition. In 1758, Qianlong was 57 years old. Yong Qi was 17. From Qianlong's arrangement, we can see he started to prepare, promote his fifth son Yong Qi as crown prince. Qianlong's sixth son Yong Rong was born by noble consort Chun. He was very smart and a talent on art and poetry. After Yong Qi passed away, he became Qianlong's most favorite son. Besides, Yong Rong was only three years younger than Yong Qi, so in my opinion, he was the strongest competitor of Yong Qi. In ending seventeen fifty eight. Qianlong arranged Yong Rong to visit Shen Junwang, the Prince Shen of the second rank. One year later, Yong Rong was officially adopted by Prince Shen of the second rank. This means Yong Rong had no choice to inherit Qianlong's throne. In August seventeen sixty. Yong Zhang passed away. Later, noble consort Lin gave birth to Qianlong's fifth son, Yong Yan. In 1763, Qianlong arranged Yong Cheng to be adopted by Lu Qinwang, the Prince Lu of the first rank. In 1765. Qianlong's steppe empress was demoted because she cut her hair, which caused Qianlong's 
twelve son, Yong Qi was hated by his father, and had no chance became the emperor. So far, it seems no one could stop Yong Qi became the next emperor. Well, we forgot the days. In April seventeen sixty six, Yong Qi passed away because of bone TB. Two months later, noble consort Ling gave birth Qianlong's last son, Yong Lin. In seventeen sixty six, Qianlong was fifty five, although he had seven surviving sons, but only four of them. Were qualified to be considered as crown prince candidate. Yong Xuan was a drinker and had leg problem, so Qianlong never considered him. Now we know Qianlong decided to choose Yong Yan as crown prince. Happened in seventeen seventy one. This year, Qianlong was sixty years old. Yong Zheng passed away at fifty-six. Kangxi passed away at sixty-eight. Now we know Qianlong can live twenty-nine years longer, but in seventeen seventy-one, Qianlong didn't know. In seventeen seventy-nine, three potential candidates. One is nineteen, one is thirteen, and another one is five. Obviously, five years old Yong Lin Yong Lin was too young. In my opinion, Qianlong was considered Yong Xin, as Yong Xin was a very smart boy, but he was little. He was one of Qianlong's favorite kids. Yong Xin was a master calligrapher. He got the Empress Dowager Chongqing's favor because of his excellent works. Yong Xin's wife was Empress Xiaoxian's niece. Unfortunately, Yong Xin was a miser. His wife couldn't get enough food and clothes. Qianlong was really mad at his behavior. But Yong Xin never changed. So after years and years, Yong Xin lost his father's favor. Now Yong Yan became the only candidate. Because Qianlong lived much longer than expected, he had a chance to change his mind. But Yong Lin was a horrible person. He didn't like study and liked to visit a brothel, so Qianlong hated very much. Eventually, Yong Yan was the only qualified candidate.